Hi, how are you doing today? I am Dara and welcome to yet another video. In this video today, I want to show you how you can create your blog posts using Microsoft Word. Isn't that fun? Let's go ahead and see. I have Microsoft Word open here and I want to start writing my blog post with it. So I'll go ahead to the new area and search for the blog post template. search for that and then I select the blog post template I can pin this if I want to and I click on create once I do that I will be able to register my WordPress provider I will to register my blog service provider so I'll click on register now and then I select my blog post provider from here. Today I'm using WordPress. So I'll select WordPress and I click on next. Next thing I need to do is put in my website URL. I would keep the xmlrpc.php part here. So I'll put in https wp.daraolada.com. In your case, this would be your website URL. It could be a uh, nice person.com, someone that is lovely.net or something like that. Then I put in my login username and my password. I will tell the system to remember me, to remember my password, and I click on OK. It tells me that my registration was successful. So I can click OK. And get started blogging now that i'm ready i can give my blog post a title let me call that hello world and then i say hello people part of my typing welcome to my new website to my new blog post or something like that i will be sharing lots of stuff with you my typing speed is not that perfect, so you pardon me. I can even put in pictures or videos or anything I want. Let me locate a picture from my computer. I drag one in here. And this is a picture of me comparing the camera quality via USB from my iPhone and my DSLR. All right, once I'm ready to go, I can click on publish to make this post go live or I can publish this as a draft if I want to do more modification on WordPress before I publish this. I think I'm comfortable with this, so I hit on publish. And then my blog post is live. I can decide to save this blog post so I can modify it whenever I want to. So you can save it to wherever you want to save it on your system. I think I'll save it in my documents and I'll say save this as hello wordpress and then i'm good to go hit on save again and then come over to my website and in there there's nothing so so far so what i need to go ahead and do is actually just refresh the web page so i hit refresh and then I see my blog post. Let me actually go ahead and modify this blog post so I have a featured image show up in here. So I'll click on edit. This is me logging as the admin on my WordPress. And I set the featured image for the blog post. Click on the existing image I used, set it as a featured image, and then update. And this way, I will see the reflection on my blog post just in a couple of moments. If I go on and refresh this page, 
I see the featured image, I see the blog post, I could modify the categories and any other thing I want to do with the blog post. Quick and easy, WordPress post from inside Microsoft Word. So that's it guys, I hope you like this video. If you gained value from it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and also let me know what you think about it in the comment section. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you get notified when I post new videos on this channel. Till I come your way again with another video. Stay safe and goodbye.